This is Fitness Blender's Little Black Dress Boot Camp. In this routine, we're just going to be going through one round of seven different exercises and 50 seconds per exercise. We're only going to have 10 seconds to move from exercise to exercise, and all of our movements are going to be body weight driven, so you're not going to need any equipment for this routine. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right into it with our first exercise, the double pulse reverse lunge and the double pulse lift. Now you're only going to be doing this on one side, so we're going to be starting with that right leg first. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Bring that right leg back behind you. That lunge twice, and then bring that leg up. Nice high squeeze twice, and then right back down to that lunge. Try to balance on that left leg as best you can the entire time. You only want to let that rear foot, that right foot touch when you're dropping down into that lunge. So remember, go down to that lunge, pulse twice at the very bottom of that range of motion. Come up onto that left leg, bring that right leg straight up back behind you, keeping it as straight as you can. Pulse twice as high as you possibly can on that range of motion, and then drop directly back down into that lunge. Just keep that motion going back and forth. Try and get a nice, smooth, controlled motion, nice, short, quick pulse, and then drop it right back into that next motion. And just about five seconds left, we're almost done. Keep that motion going nice and slow under control. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, take a little bit of a break. We're gonna switch sides, do that same thing with that left leg back behind you this time. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, step back into that reverse lunge. Do that pulse at the bottom and then come up onto that right leg this time, squeezing that left leg back behind you for two pulses then drop right back down into that lunge. Remember, try to balance on that right leg as best you can. It's gonna be quite a bit more difficult than it looks like. So just take your time, nice slow fluid motions are gonna make it a lot easier for balance. Almost done, just about 10 seconds left. Keep that motion going. Keep that pulse nice and low on that lunge and nice and high with that leg raise. Just keep switching it back and forth and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the downward dog leg lifts with a pike push-up. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, so drop down into that downward dog position. Basically making a triangle off the floor, legs straight down into the floor, and then try to keep a nice straight line from your hip straight down into your wrist for the front of your body. Make sure you're getting a nice leg raise on each side, then doing your push-up. If you can, remember, try to make sure you're starting with an opposite leg you did last time every single time you lift those legs. So you never want to always lift just your left leg the first and always the right leg the second. You want to always alternate back and forth to make sure everything's nice and even. Then doing that push-up, just drop it down as low as you can. Try to get that forehead as close to the ground as you can. And then nice and slow, press it right back up. Depending on your strength and your range of motion, you might not be able to get all the way down as low as Kelly's doing, but try as best you can. And we're almost done, just about five seconds left. Keep that motion going. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the pendulum squats. Go ahead and get ready, and begin. So you're gonna kick those legs back and forth, left to right, then drop down in the center, do a nice squat pulse, then stand right back up into the pendulum swing. So that pendulum swing is just kicking those legs left to right, left leg goes out on the left side, right leg goes out on the right side, making sure one leg's underneath you at all times, and then you're gonna split those feet apart nice and wide, then squat down, pulse twice at the bottom, and then come right back up, starting back into those pendulum swings. Now try to keep that motion nice and quick. You wanna only let that foot touch for just a split second before you're jumping back the opposite direction. Then once you get those four kicks in, you're gonna squat down the middle nice and low, just like a traditional squat. Try to keep your weight back in your heels, knees back behind those toes as best you can, nice flat back. Give your two pulses and then start it right back over. Now we're almost done, we have just about five seconds left. Just keep that motion going, we're almost there. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the crab leg kicks and tricep dips. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. So you're starting that crab position, so basically a reverse tabletop. 
Gonna come up, knees 90 degree angle. Try to keep those hips nice and high. Keep a straight line from your knee all the way to your shoulder. Arms fully extended. Do that leg kick motion. So one leg is gonna come up, kick it straight out in front of you, a little bit higher than that other thigh. Then the same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna do a little dip with those hips as well as with those arms. You're gonna bend those elbows. That's where your tricep dip comes in. And then extend it right back out. Kick those legs again, then right back into that tricep dip. And make sure every single time you do that kick, you're starting with a different leg than you started with last time. Just always trying to make sure you're alternating sides because at the very least, you're gonna set up a mental dominance with wanting to use only one side or you're actually gonna set up a physical dominance where one side's actually specifically stronger than the other. All right, we only have about five seconds left. We're almost done. And go ahead and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise. We're doing three jumping jacks and a walk down push up. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Remember, three jumping jacks, and then that walk down push up, nice and slow, like you're doing a toe touch, then walk out with those hands. Do that push up and then walk it right back up again, starting back into those jumping jacks. Now, if you're not quite flexible enough or strong enough to do that walk down push up, then you can always bend those knees to make it a little bit easier so you don't have to stretch quite so far. And also so you can drop down on those knees so you can do a half push up rather than a full push up. Now, it's just whatever you're comfortable with, but always remember to try to push yourself to your maximum levels. You don't want to push past that comfort zone, but you want to try to always challenge yourself. And just about 10 seconds left, we're getting close. Almost done, just about five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. 30 seconds of squats and 20 seconds of pulses. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. Squat it down nice and low, come right back up. We're doing 30 seconds of full squats. So drop it down as low as you can, as low as is comfortable. Try to get a good full bend on that knee. Make sure your weight's back in your heels, that back is nice and flat. And just keep that motion going nice and slow under control. We're about halfway through until we start up those pulses. Just keep that motion going. And we're gonna switch to those pulses here in just a second and drop them down and start those pulses. Just keep those hips really nice and low. You wanna to go to about parallel with those thighs, up just a couple of inches and right back down. Try to keep them as low as you possibly can. Remember, just like a regular squat, your weight needs to be back in those heels and you wanna have that back nice and flat. Now we just have a little under five seconds left. We're almost done and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, the planks with the hip touchdown. Go ahead and get ready. And begin, starting in that plank position, get those knees up off the ground, nice straight line from your shoulder all the way down to your ankle, and then start rocking those hips back and forth. So you wanna to try to keep your shoulders as stationary as you can, and just try to get as much of that motion from your torso and your hips as you possibly can. So you're gonna rotate that hip, drop it down, try to tap that thigh or the outside of that hip down to the ground, roll it back up to a full plank, and then switch it down over the other side, bring that opposite hip down, tap that one, then bring it back up to that full plank. Just keep alternating back and forth, nice slow fluid motions, try to get as much range of motion out of you can. If you can't get all the way down to tap those thighs, that's perfectly fine. Just push it as far as you possibly can that's comfortable. And just about five seconds left, we're almost done. And let it relax. All right, good job, this workout is complete. You just finished Fitness Blenders Little Black Dress Bootcamp.